Uh, 702 ABC Sydney with James Valentine this afternoon. Look, an acquaintance of mine sent me a copy of an anthology of modern Romanian verse called Testament, and I thought to myself, look, we wouldn't usually do Romanian verse, and I thought, well, that's right, we wouldn't usually do Romanian verse, so let's have, have a look at Romanian verse. Daniel Juanita is with us, he's the uh, editor with Eva Foster and Daniel Reynard, and uh, the, uh, perhaps the most interesting thing about it is that it's produced from here, from, from Australia, a book about Romanian verse. Daniel, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, James, much appreciated. Yes, it is. I guess uh, it's, uh, since I'm a resident of Australia, I've been uh, living here since 1989. Mm. Uh, left Romania during the Cold War, 1980, by New Zealand. So, um, yes, it started, the, the whole idea started here. Uh, as you do... But that seems, that seems interesting in itself, yeah. doesn't it, that we've yeah. got an active enough Romanian culture here. True, and that was a surprise over there, because most of the stuff going on about Romania overseas happens in the UK or the US, mostly the US, which has about a million Romanians. Right. Here we are about 24,000. Um, I suppose as, as, as you get uh, older and more nostalgic, the first 20 years out of Romania, I wasn't even interested in Romania. I you know, had a family and children and a career and all that kind of stuff to look after. Uh, over here. Uh, but uh, I suppose uh, with the nostalgia of, uh, of getting old, I uh, um, started to try and share some poetry with my children. Now, my children know Romanian, but mm. they haven't been educated there. Uh, they'll never appreciate poetry. So uh, from this small, um, uh, if you like, seed mm. of three or four poems for, for my kids, uh, we, we, we ended up with a bilingual English uh, Romanian anthology. Mm. And is there nothing similar coming out of, uh, you know, the UK, the US, or Romania itself? No, indeed, that was my surprise, because uh, when I approached the, the publishing house, that was my first question. Hasn't anyone done this? I mean, am I going over the same territory? Yeah. And they said, no, they, they haven't. Uh, no one has done this. The translations have been patchy, some very good, some mediocre, some kind of um, embarrassing so to speak, but uh, of one poet or two... <laughs> I'm course. old enough to think of that as modern. <laughs> of course you are. What, what is Romania today? Where, where is it in Europe, and what, what, what is it as a nation good, today? Good question, James. I suppose when, when, uh, from an Anglo-Saxon perspective, we're talking mm -hmm. the US, the UK, Australia, New Zealand, um, we know about uh, France, art, poetry, you know about Germany, we know about a bit about Italy and Spain, and then... We kind of gloss over everything else and stop at Russia. Yeah. There's nothing known about Poland, Czechoslovakia, so, oh, sorry, Czech Republic, uh, yeah. Slov and so on and so forth. They could be a bit lumped into one. To never mind from, Romania. From so, so, yeah, Romania is in, is in Eastern Europe, the political zone, close to the Black Sea, uh, surrounded by Slavic cultures, but it is a Latin culture, Latin language. Right. So the closest to us would be Spanish and Italian. If I listen, listen to Italian or Spanish news, I can understand half of its say. Right. So was this, and so historically, has that that's been a part of your relationship to the area you're in? You're, you're, right. you're an island of of, of Latin land. language, surrounded by Slavs, essentially. Yeah. Right. Right. Which is that? That's a very fundamental thing, I imagine. Yeah, yeah it is. I mean, we obviously, itself, you know. obviously, uh, the language and the culture has been uh, influenced by this. We have about, let's say, ten percent of the words in Romanian are of Slavic origin, but 80% are of Latin. Right, so, yeah. right. So I mean, we obviously, itself, obviously uh, the language and the culture has been uh, influenced by this. We have about, let's say, 10% of the words in Romanian are of Slavic origin, but 80% are of Latin. Right, so, yeah. right. And that's in the name itself, isn't it? Romania. Of course, Roman. that's right. That's so was it a particular Roman out, out uh, and so what's the, has the poet culture been very active? Are you, are you a, do you feel, feel that you're a strong poet nation? Yeah, yes, it, I mean, uh, once the publishing house uh, gave me the contract uh, about a year ago and it got serious, I decided to do some homework. I mean, I was always interested in poetry. You can't translate poetry un unless you are a bit of a poet yourself. So, so com try to compare the great poetry, you know, the, the, the English, the Yeats and Auden and, and Byron and, and Shakespeare uh, and, and Germans and Russians. Lemontov, Pushkin, Esenin, and so on, uh, to the Romanians, and, and I know I'm subjective, of course, uh, but I think it stands up. I think it's it's uh, it's, it's uh, at the same level of the great poetry. Uh, of course, it never had a chance to be to be published. Yeah. 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 Talking to Daniel Juanita, the book is called Testament, an anthology of modern Romanian verse. Is there? A, can we pick a short one? 
because uh, yep. we're, you know, a short, snappy radio station. Um, <laughs> sure. Um, or even just a couple of verses. I'd love to hear the Romanian, then hear the translation. I, I'm, going to, I'm going to read you uh, page 169, if you want to follow okay. me, uh, against war. I guess it was written in the middle of the Cold War with all those tensions between yeah. the two superpowers. Now, now it, uh, it ref but, but it, it stands the test of time, right. because today we deal with the same thing. Well, give, me, give me the first three verses. First three verses. Mm -hmm. Civilian things are few. Let's oh, sorry, no, do the Romanian first. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Puține lucruri au lămas civile în acest veac ploios și militar. Nu zile, ci permisii de zile, copiii drepti în numele lor sar. Puține lucruri au lămas civile în acest veac ploios și militar. Nu zile, ci permisii de zile, copiii drepti în numele lor sar. Civilian things are few, there's no reprieve these rainy days with soldiers beating drums. We don't have days, just military leave and babies jump saluting from their mums. The clocks resound like soldiers' boots this morning. They screech on jilted barren sand which stings. For thirty wars start monthly without warning, and all are carrying death within their wings. Give us a Romanian again. That's lovely. Pendulele ca niște cizme sună scânșnind pe un sterp și refuzat nisip. Sunt treizeci de războaie într-o lună și toate poartă moartea în aripi. And, you know, it's, it, because you've said it, I can now yeah. sort of hear it and see it. it, it to me, it's not like you, you speak in Latin, and right. then there's suddenly a Slavic word. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's sort of quite course, abrupt, but it seems to be these abrupt changes that, in, in that's sound right. and tone. You that's know. right. That's Is right. it an easy translation? Linda was talking about it, uh, translation. That it, was... uh, translation is never, never easy, and translation of poetry is particularly difficult, I suppose, the, uh, uh, simply because in English, the words for most used by poets, like heart and love and hate and feelings or parts of the body or parts of nature, tree, moon, sun, they are all one syllable. Mm. It's an interesting thing. Mm. And in most Latin languages are three, four, five syllables. So, so when you translate, you have to fill into English from a Latin-based language, you mm. have to fill out a lot more words, which is both a blessing and a curse for a translator. Well, there's another whole thing to think about, because particularly with poetry, then you're you trying to match the rhythm of the original and... and of course, the thing, the, or, I mean, if you cry or, or you are impressed by some poem in Romanian, you, my rule was you have to have the same sentiment, so it should impress your rhythm, rhyme, uh, the poetic, philosophical idea and all that kind of stuff. Look, terrific work and thank you so much for coming in and telling us Thank you, Bob. James, much appreciated. Have you in the book's called Testament, an anthology of modern Romanian verse, and it'll be in the bookstores and, and libraries right now. Don't you want to need it? Has been our guest. Thank you. Thank you, James.